Often in life, we don't lose out because we get defeated. We lose out because we just kind of quit trying. We surrender in life, inch by inch, sometimes without even noticing what we're doing. That's because there's a certain current to life in the world. It carries you toward entropy. There's no such thing as neutral in life. You're either advancing or you're carried downward by the current. And since going with the flow takes no effort, a lot of us drift downward until we suddenly realize we should have played it differently. The biggest enemy to fruitful living in this life is the ordinary, natural drift toward meaningless living. We have to fight the drift. There's a huge chunk of Old Testament history that's about precisely this, about how generations of God's people fell victim to their own wandering attention. God had given them the promised land. He promised them victory against every enemy, every challenge they faced, but they refused to carry out their battles or, or they couldn't be bothered to maintain their own spiritual boundaries. They just drifted through life and, and compromised here and there and then suddenly they'd find themselves overwhelmed by invaders or enslaved by their neighbors. God would send heroes to rescue them, often very unlikely heroes, but ultimately he was trying to teach all of them how to fight in a negative world. God will rescue us from trouble, but ultimately he's trying to develop us into a powerful people. We're not destined to live halfway. There's a promise of real fruitfulness on our lives, but we don't drift into it. We have to fight for it. But obviously the way we fight for fruitfulness in life is not the way of the ordinary battlefield. We fight spiritually, for spiritual things, for spiritual power. So what are the keys, the attitudes, the actions that, that keep us in the game? What makes for a hero in God's kingdom?